Hey friends, welcome to the Farm and Pastor's Wife. I'm so glad you're here. Let me tell you, today is Saturday. Tomorrow is homecoming at church. And that can only mean one thing. There's some cooking fixing to go down here at the Farm and Pastor's Wife house. So stay tuned. You don't want to miss it. <laughs> So let me tell you, homecoming. Don't know if you know about homecoming, if you go to church, if your church has homecomings or not. But what that is, is usually at our church, we have a singing group. We have an evangelist come in. It also kicks off our revival. And then we have a potluck dinner afterwards. Now, the meat I'm cooking, you're going to see that on an upcoming video sometime around October 3rd. And that's going to be in collaboration with a dear sweet friend of mine, Darlene, over at Super at 60. Um, but that's coming up in October. So I'm saving the meat part of, or the main dish that I'm taking uh, for that video. But I also wanted to take some kind of side dish, vegetable, or something like that, um, along with some dessert. So, but... This video is primarily on the side dish. It's going to be easy peasy. Yeah, there's meat in it, but easy. Can't be any easier. So, excuse the hair. Let me tell you what's going on with the hair. Oh, you know that little thing that curled out for so many videos? It just kept, yeah, I, I took some scissors to that baby. I know I probably messed my hair up, but it was driving me insane. <laughs> so, let me tell you. Um, homecoming always is in early early fall which means i always have i still have out my summer clothes in fact the only reason i have a hoodie on is because it came in the mail the farming pastor's wife merch anyway it came in the mail so i have actually um since all my summer clothes are still out i'm like what am i going to wear to church Homecoming to me is the kickoff of fall and fall attire at church. So I've been like looking to see what I could wear tomorrow and I've been trying things on so my hair is all boop. So anyway, hence it coming out of the ponytail. But let's talk about this meal or this side dish I'm going to do. It's going to be a take on my cowboy beans. Um, it's... But it's not going to, I'm not going to follow any particular recipe. I'm just going to cook up and throw into a pot. So there's really no recipe for this. So probably not a recipe down in the description. So if you want to know this, you might all get out a pad and pen and just kind of jot things down and jot down some ideas of just stuff you have. We're kind of just throwing stuff in a crock pot and we're going to cook it up today during the day. Brian can have a little small bowl of it tonight if he wants to, and then we'll I'll just heat it back up in the morning and we'll carry it straight to church along with my other dishes. But, so, let me grab everything I need and we'll get started. Okay, y'all, so I'm over here at the stovetop, and what we're going to do is we're going to start browning up just some of our ground beef. Y'all, just get a pound of ground beef at your store. In fact, I started to get one at the store just because... I have to dig deep in my deep freezer for this, and I'm running low on our home. This is our home hamburger um, raised and everything. So, um, yeah. I was running low, and I didn't want to dig for it, but I was convicted over my lazy bone. <laughs> so, let's turn the burner on, and I'm just using a nonstick skillet. Um because it was the easiest one for me to grab. We're just gonna do this quick and easy. We're gonna get this going. Y'all, and for my diet, I had already chopped up some um, tricolor bell peppers, and I still have some in the refrigerator. So we're just gonna not, we're not gonna use all of those, but just a few. I've chopped up a little bitty uh, onion so we're just gonna go ahead and get those sauteing in here. You could just dump it all in the crock pot. I mean, you still need to brown your meat, but as far as the vegetables, you could just put those in the crock pot if you wanted to. 
Um, but I like to give it a little kick start on the sauteing process, and we'll just do that right here with this hamburger. Once the hamburger gets to going good, all right, once it gets to going, I'll bring you right back, and we will um, add in the stuff we need to add in. Okay, guys, so the meat has started to get to going, so I'm just going to add in a few of these peppers. And I'm going to add in about a small onion, chopped up. And in just a minute, everything is going to smell like, oh my goodness. Alright, we're just going to let that hamburger get good and done. And then we'll transfer it to the crock pot. Okay, guys, my hamburger and onions and peppers have sauteed. The hamburger's done. I'm just going to go dump this right in the crock pot. I drained the, as much grease as I could get off with a paper towel. So now let me tell you what I'm gonna put in this frying pan. Yes, we're almost done, and you can actually skip this step. But I'm gonna put some kielbasa in this, and I like it to have just a little bit of a char or a brownness to it. So I'm gonna stick those in here. I'm gonna turn the, uh, this burner back on. And we're just gonna basically just brown those, nothing major. I'm gonna slice up a little bit more and put in there, and we'll be right back. Okay guys, you can totally skip this step if you wanted to and just put the kielbasa straight into the crock pot. And if I thought I had to mess up another pan, that's probably what I would do. But since this pan was already messed up with the hamburger, why not put a little brownness on it? Um, and I won't even do it much. We'll just do a little bit. So, see how that one's getting like little brown edges? Yeah, I like mine just to have just a little bit of a char to it, but it's not necessary. Like I said, you could totally, totally skip this step. Okay, y'all, we've moved over here to the crock pot, and I'm just going to put the kielbasa in. I'm not going to put quite all of it yet. We'll see. Let's get this, get this going. Now, I went to Aldi, and I just bought... Um, their brand, I think their brand is best. I think it's better than Bush's. I think, I mean, I love their brand of baked beans. I got one that's maple and brown sugar. The other ones are original. So I've opened two of the cans, but I've bought three. So we're going to put it in juice and all. And you're just going to stir up, and I think we're going to use that third can. Because I want this to be just, I want it to be savory. And I mean, not savory, but I want it to be stick to your bones. But um, I definitely want more beans than anything else. Now, here's where you just get to play around. And let me tell you what I would love to add into this. If I had a can... But I don't have one, but um, a can of lima beans. I would love to put a can of lima beans in this, but don't have them. All right, guys, look at that. Oh my goodness, we're not done. Nope, we're not done. I think I can put in the rest of my kielbasa now. I just want to be sure I had enough room. <laughs> okay. Let's stir that all in. All right. Worcestershire sauce. Like I said, there's no um, recipe here. So just go with it. 
I'm going to put in several splashes of Worcestershire sauce. I'm going to put in, let me shake up the ketchup. I'm going to put in several good squirts of ketchup. Come on now. All right. A small squirt of mustard. Let me do a little more. All right. And wait for it. There's more. I may add some more ketchup before all is said and done. All right, hang on, there's more. Okay, so now I'm gonna add an unpacked half a cup of brown sugar. And that'll just help with that molasses taste. So good. And if you're really smart, you could fry up bacon and crumble it up and put in here, but I haven't been that smart today. Actually, I have been really smart today. I'll explain that in a minute. But anyway, I'm gonna use a pack of bacon bits. The only thing is you gotta watch for that little packet. Sometimes they put those pa fresh packets in here. And I don't want it to dump out in. I don't guess this pack has them. Okay, so we're gonna stir that in. That bacon is gonna add that smoky goodness. There's gonna be a piece of meat of some sort, whether it be hamburger, kielbasa, or bacon. In every single bite, we're going to let this get good and heated up. And we'll have Brian taste it in just a little bit. Y'all know I can't have it as bad as I want it. Oh my goodness, this looks so good. I'm glad I thought of this. Usually I do my baked beans in the oven. Like I said, I'll link that video down below. But um, this time I thought... Let's do it in a crock pot and just throw the stuff to it. And that's what we're doing. So let me tell you about me being smart today. I could have fried up bacon. I have bacon. I could have fried it up and put it in here. But let me tell you what I did. My sweet husband has worked so hard this week. He's had a very, very, very stressful week. And he wanted me to ride with him somewhere this morning. I had tons of stuff to do. That's not what I had in mind to do. But guess what? I did it, and that was the smart thing and the good thing to do. So I got to spend some time with my sweet husband this morning. And um, we ran some errands. And now I'm home cooking, and he's going to get to have some of this when he, he's back out working. So when he gets home, he will. Uh, he's doing ministry work today. So... Anyway, when he gets home, we'll give this a taste. Okay, y'all. Yes, I'm in another outfit, and that's a funny story. I'm doing four videos all at one time, and so I thought I could keep them separate by changing outfits, except this time I'm tired of changing outfits, so I don't want to change back. So, but Mr. Bryant has come in. These are nice and good and hot and wonderful. And so I thought I'd give him... And you call them what now? Well, these are going to be my crock pot cowboy beans. Mm -hmm. They're a little juicy. So I can what I can do there is leave the top off. Take the lid off. Take the lid off and let it cook down just a little bit. But hey, that's just goodness right there. Okay, guys, we'll be right back and I'll let him taste it. Okay, guys, I've gotten Bryant and I fixed him a plate. And he's ready to try them. All right, here we go. Everybody ready? We're ready. All right, look at that. All that goodness. Tastes just like your uh... baked ones? Mm hmm. Tastes mm. just like the baked ones, but boy, that was easy throwing it in a crock pot. Except there's a lot more juice. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Fine with me. Fine with me. It must be a good thing. <laughs> You got bread and sop it up. That's right. Ooh, a good old yeast roll sopping that sweet juice mm. up. Yep, it's good and sweet. Flavor's good. Mm-hmm. I believe it's good. Definitely a keeper. 
Definitely a keeper. All right. Thank you guys for watching The Farm and Pastor's Wife. You should have got me a bowl. <laughs> well, you've got it here for the rest of the evening, and the rest goes to church. Mm -hmm. So you can't eat the whole thing. Is it wrong if I lick that? No, I don't care. Okay. <laughs> don't watch. Okay, guys. Remember, if the grease is hot enough, you can fry anything. Bye, guys. Bye.